G'day DC here for another Tech Sushi review. Um, today we're going to look at one of my favourite figures again. You've seen the Red Skull. This guy is my other favourite figure. He's just new, well reasonably new. Um, say he's a figure that caused a lot of controversy in the film that he was in. Um, and people are still up in the air about who he really is. I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. I'm not that good. But this figure is a kick-ass figure. It looks just like the actor. It's still really cheap to get. Um, and it makes your collection stand out. Like he is an awesome figure. Who I'm talking about is the Mandarin from Hot Toys. Look, Ben Kingsley played this part so well. He was awesome. Running from being the fake Mandarin or the Mandarin or whatever you guys want to believe to being Trevor. Um, he did that so well. Absolutely fantastic job. And one of the funnier parts, or if you can see past the disappointment of it all, one of the funnier parts in the Iron Man 3 movie, um, should we go through the box here? Um, it was a pretty... I don't know. It felt like a B-grade movie to me. Everything was a bit rushed. Such cool characters that could have done so much more and they just didn't do it for me. Like Iron Patriot should have been so much more. Mandarin should have been so much more. Um, I don't know why Kildridge, and that's his name, was the main villain in the end. I would have thought he was only a B-grade villain compared to the Mandarin in the Iron Man universe. But that's just my thoughts. In regards to the box art, I think this is really cool. I really like the way they're doing the Iron Man 3 box arts with the, the simple lines and the name and then a huge big glossy picture. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, I think, Fly Guy's done the Mandarin, the, not the Mandarin, the Mechanic Tony Stark review. Um, same, similar box style. Again, excellent picture. Really nice details on these boxes. Hot Toys are really, really lifting their game, I think, in their, um, in the way they're doing their box out, taking a bit more care, because I think they're noticing that people actually like the boxes, they keep them. Again, if you take the lid off, you get the background to most of the, movie, or the videos that the Mandarin did to the president in the movie, and it's got who made them. As per usual, just to save some time, I've taken the, the little bits out. You get the you know the clear packaging over top of there. I've taken that out to make save some more time. Um, you get instructions. You get a heap of his hands, or you get what five different hands, all with the rings and so forth on them. You get wrist joints just in case you break some. This is where his sunglasses sat. Um, I'm glad they did add. The rings to him, I think would be very a poor um, in the movie, even a, a poor decision if they hadn't added the Mandarin rings, the ten rings. I think it's ten rings. I'm not sure. I think it's ten rings. And then you get the basic stand also, which I don't use because you get this kick-ass chair uh, that he sits in, which I think is awesome. I really like this. You know. I'm not sure if it's made of plastic. I mean, yeah, it's made of plastic, but it looks really good. And it just, it's nice to have a figure not standing up all the time and you want to sit down and break up your collection. But again, the detail on this chair, just, it's pretty decent, you know. You can't see most of it when he sits on it because of his capes and so forth, but hey, it's a normal figure and we get this kick ass chair. Normally they'd charge an extra 50 bucks for that. Bargain. And then we get to a Mandarin. Now, this guy is so impressive. Um, I keep saying that, but I really like him. I know Fly Guy doesn't like the whole idea of having a toy of a figure of a guy who really wasn't who he's supposed to be. And, oh, the debates we've had. But, take his glasses off. Tell me that's not a miniature Ben Kingsley sitting in your room. Come on, who wouldn't want one of them? So cool. I'm just jealous because of the beard he's got. And the hair. But
but even the curves. What I don't like, the thing I hate is how Hot Toys do these huge hoods. Come on, it's, that's what Hasbro does for their three and three quarter. It's a bit big. So, <coughs> sorry guys. So we just take that off. I think that's sit back there. You can see he's got his army fatigues and so forth down to his boots. Uh, yeah, the laces are definitely moulded onto his boots, but that would be pretty, pretty stylish. You go up. You can see he's pointing his finger. Oh. But he's such an awesome um, robe that he wears. So good detail, you know, the flowers, the detail, the gold, you know, the gold. You can you see it on the there we go. Yeah, the I'm not sure what you'd call that. I think it's supposed to be Charlie's Dragons, actually. They do look like it. Hard to get a read of it in the camera because of those lights, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Um, so, even the pennies or the buttons, sorry. There's a lot of them. The buttons are his sleeves there. To this bit. I've gone mind blank. <laughs> cuffs. There's cuffs on his jacket there. Um, we keep going up. We go the other side. Same sort of thing. Ring fingers, hands. And then you look on his head, he's got his little uh, ponytail shaped head thing going on. But overall, what, what can I say? He puts back his glasses back on. He looks nasty. So happy I got this figure. I was up in the air about it. I did have reservations due to how he was portrayed in the film, but he just looks awesome. Uh, really so happy that I bought him in the end. Again, like Red Skull, you know, figures you won't talk about much. They're not the Iron Man or the Batmans or the Jokers or the Terminators, but they are really, really cool figures. Yeah, I'll just put it in this chair to give you one more show of that. You know, if you want a cool figure, something different for your collection, why wouldn't you go for it? Sitting in his chair. There's a movie. Anyway, I'm DC for another toy figure review. I'll try to prove something so he doesn't fall over. Um, stay tuned for some more. Happy collecting. See you.